Hi everybody, guess who I have here again? Okay, so it's uh, our good friend Dragon Tan, right? Our property uh, expert here. So uh, you know, how are you? How have you been? Hey, hi, hi, hi everybody here on One M Six Five. This is Dragon. Yeah, I'm so happy to meet Mr. Lu today. Very very busy since uh, last year October to date. Busy uh, building my team. You changed portfolio, is it? Uh, not changing portfolio, but more like a, a mentor, a coach here. So from a team of five right now, uh, probably go, growing more than 60 plus. So I'm uh, managing people as well. Wow, apart from doing my personal Aliyah, huh? Big business really. Uh, uh, okay, it, not, not that. It's just that uh, it's, it's passion. So uh, I challenge my own agent that uh, I challenge them to work with me until 2, 3 a.m. every night at our own office itself. Very good. So right now you are you are managing a team of agents plus that's yourself, right. of course, you also continue to service clients, right? Mm, that's right. Okay, yeah. His, uh, his service is incredible. I got one in six, five uh, followers that become his client and uh, giving me the feedback, his service is wonderful, right? Thank so, you, thank you. Thank you, so, everybody, for giving me the yeah, chance, yeah. Yeah, and and very important, anybody wants his service, uh, I'll put the, the number here. Don't contact me. Uh, I'm not selling houses. Uh. He is, I'm not, okay? If any of your real estate needs, contact Dragon Tan. Don't contact me. A lot of people write to me uh, as if I'm the one, okay? I'm not, okay? So anyway, um, so interesting uh, to see right now you are, you are forming a team and things like that. But how's the property market right now? No, Let's start with something like uh, maybe HDB and, uh, HDB and private. Okay, uh, so we start first and foremost uh, with the HDB first because HDB involved the, the, I would say the 77 to 80% of the population itself. Uh, for the HDB, we'll see the, more of the, the 1M HDB that is uh being reported in the mass yeah here. a lot one uh, million dollar hdb right now no like okay. the house is gonna price out the market every cow okay cow okay uh, so one thing for assurance the media love to exaggerate things um the number of hdb that are probably the exceeded 1m um that is around 460 units last year 2023 compared to 360 370 uh in 2022 so it's going up it's going up. In, 20, up, up. in 2021, there's around 200 plus units. So this year will be 600. Uh, maybe. I don't okay, know. Given the trend, it, it probably break 550 uh, for this year as well. That's okay, a lot, right? Okay, uh, not really a lot. Uh, Sifu, don't be alarmed by the 1M uh, HDB. Now, uh, and don't let this uh, you know, affect your emotion. Now, if you're going to take a look at the total number of HDB transaction a year, it's around 26,000. 26, no, 26,000. So it's less than 2%. Is it? Oh, yes. Okay. And just what I was mentioning to you, um, every 16 to 17 people working on the street in Singapore, one is a millionaire. And not all millionaire want yeah, to stay in condo. Yeah. Not all millionaire want to stay in landed or cluster landed. They, some millionaire like Mr. Lu, <laughs> or probably there were a huge portion of millionaire. I think my block here has a lot of uh, yes. millionaire. They, they want space. Their, their car is damn big. Eh. Oh, I, yeah. I've got... I got uh, Ferraris. I got a ah. lot. Of, most of them have, have a lot of Mercedes, BMW. Uh, I've got. Uh, I even got one uh, Land Rover. Land Rover, which is half a million dollars. So actually, a lot. Of, yeah. Okay, so there are quite a number of millionaire who want to stay in HDB like Mister Lu, multi time millionaire, not millionaire. Nah. So uh, I'm not surprised. So don't be alarmed by few hundred units, or don't because the media just love to exaggerate. If not, there won't be any readership of follower. All right. Uh, and this constitutes to less than 2%, probably 1.6, 1.7%. Now, uh, from the trend, yes, there's going to be an increasing number of uh, 1M HDB, I think for this year as well. I'm not surprised it's going to exceed probably 500 units this year to 550. Uh, and the good part is that government is doing job itself. Uh, we remember back in 2022, I shared on 1M65 video, Desmond Lee actually so-called implement a ruling, the HDB, that the private or the MND, yeah, the private property owner are banned for 15 months after the disposure. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, 55 yeah. years old and yeah. above. You can buy yeah. four bedroom, uh, four room flat or three room flat. Yeah. So the four room flat in the market are moving very fast currently. Really? Probably one, two weekend, it can be sold. Really? Yes. Well, it's very fast, man. Correct. Very fast. What? They engage the agent, the agent start listing, two weekends is gone. Two weekends is fast. Really? Uh, it depends on location as well, but Correct. generally, I don't think it's, uh, it's tough. Uh, five room flat depend on uh, location as well. I think Singaporeans generally are pampered, are very picky. They want to stay close to where the MRT is. Correct. And because the announcement by the PMB last year that they're going to implement more thing on the BTO. Any the future BTO that's implement from second half of two o two four this year, uh, they're going to start this scheme called the Standard Plus, mm. meaning that there are more regulation on those BTO surrounding the the MRT units. 
so that um, typically buyers are inclined towards uh, buying those resale HDB currently around the HDB. I see. Yes. Okay. So uh, HDB is still going strong and that's why we see more and more uh, price going up. I think the news was just released that uh, the HDB uh, resale price is going up and also million dollar HDB. Do you foresee the government doing a cooling measure on HDB? Typically, the, the HDB will affect the, the resale condo market as well because the upgrader for the resale condo market actually come from the HDB. Sure. So I believe coming, moving forward also, the MND are monitoring the market, but they can only monitor quarter by quarter. Okay. We need to have more statistics coming sure. out. And way before, I believe government has all the statistics to definitely come up with measures to keep the market slow and steady. It cannot be this way. Yeah. All right. Because election is coming, it is also nearing probably yeah. this year to next year. Yeah. We never know. Um, so that's cover about the HDB market, mm. which I think that uh, is still moving quite healthy. So don't be surprised that you're gonna have more HDB transacted at 1 million to 1.5 million. I'm not surprised. No surprise. In between, no. typically are uh, in the area like Topayo, Kalamampo, mm. in area like Alkang, Serangoon, uh, even Ulan and Ishun is happening as well. All right, even yeah. in Jurong. Now Coming to the resale condo, uh, resale condo right now, if let's say it depends on district to district, uh, the PSF probably is quite attractive, hovering around 1004 to 1005, 1006 PSF. Of course, it's resale, it can be a bit old compared to the new launch, but I think that there's still a price up in truck. So, coming for this year, um, uh, apart from the new launch that is launching probably around 2000 to 2002 PSF, resale market may be moving as well. So, it depends on the appetite, it depends on the preference of the consumer, the buyer. People who love new will still go for a new launch. And a buyer who, who probably they just want, some, want something that's immediate, I think that likelihood they'll upgrade or they'll buy the, the resale condo. So, okay. I guess that uh, the resale condo will still be moving relatively uh, gradual. Do so right now, much? right now, what's the what's the, your market sense of uh, on the ground? Is a resale condo up or down, or you know, or depend on where you stay? Okay, uh, depend where you stay. Mm. Uh, I think supply wise, it really depends on the unit type as well. If you have unit that is probably the three or four bedroom, four mm. bedroom the supply isn't a lot. Mm. Uh, the demand for four bedroom and five bedroom is relatively quite strong. Mm. So that the level of support is there. I don't see any price decline as yet. Mm. For one or two bedroom, maybe for certain TOP project like uh, I don't want to mention him in Tampines in Serangoon, there's quite a number of uh, because twenty one thousand units actually TOP over twenty twenty three. Mm. So remember lah, twenty one thousand mm. of supply, mm. and majority are the one and two bedroom. One bedroom especially. Hmm. So probably the one bedroom are finding time to sell in the resale market. So big units are easier to sell or small units easier to okay, sell? Okay, uh, I was uh, meeting uh, two groups of uh, three young buyers in their early 30s. Mm -hmm. So they asked me the same question as well. Yeah. So I was telling them in terms of rental, the smaller units are easier to rent. Oh. One and two bedroom. But yeah. in terms of own stay and the demand, you'll come for the three, four or the five bedroom. I see. Okay. So, so the three, four, and five beta is easier to sell with the upgrader. The demand is there. Uh, you can see upside margin in some places where like uh Jigsgate, uh Treasure Companies, you can see the upside for the, the bigger unit, 700 to 900 k I see margin from mm -hmm. the day one itself when they buy until the TOP itself when they sell, buy and sell. So that three to four years waiting time, it bring them the, the profit margin around 700 to 900 k Wow. Yes, for the bigger lot. unit because it's a bigger floor plate. Uh, each floor area per square feet it go up by a ten dollar or hundred dollar. It, it leverage. So this is where I want to ask: Is it uh, is it a case where every new launch I just buy for sure? Wait for a few years before we finish building. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick part take you know a few hundred thousand. Uh, that okay. Kind of thing. Uh, it does not mean uh every new launch that you buy will make money. Uh, just really? be very careful. But everybody say sure make money. Uh, okay. Lose um. Money. I let me give you one example. Sure. Um, I think it's five years back in 2019. Okay. Uh, my cousin driving a Lambo, yep. Xiao uh, driving a Lamborghini. Uh, sure. Action, action. Uh. Sure. So um, he went to this condo in Orchard itself. It was a new sure. launch, uh, sure. starting with a C in front. So back then, um, okay. it was a studio uh, selling for around 1.85 to 1.9 mil. Studio, just a studio, studio unit. How big, roughly? 400 plus square feet. Woo. So back then, um, there was this very good project called the Park Estar. I love Park Estar. Okay. I want to buy, but back then, because I was owning an EC, 
So I was within the MOP. If not, I'll go for the four bedroom to five bedroom. So given the 1.9 mil, I was asking him to go for maybe a five bedroom. But then there was a five bedroom that is 1.9 million. So I told him- That's an easy. That's a, no, that's a condo. It's a condo. That's a private So condo. he has a choice between a studio in the city or a condo in the in, outskirts. Uh, outskirts. But this is very close to the East Coast because it's just like Yunos MRP. Correct. It's just I overrated. still outskirts, not city. Uh. Not yes, CCR. Correct. Not CCR. Okay. So probably I'll say this RCR. Same amount of money. One can buy a, a four bedroom or five bedroom. One, five bedroom, yes. Five bedroom. five bedroom. And here I can buy a, a shoe house. A, sh a shoe box. Shoe yeah, box. A shoe yeah. house, yeah. Okay. So he was telling me one thing. You know, sometimes I feel very DL. You know why DL? You ask me for advice. I give you my <laughs> genuine advice. And then you don't hit my advice. You you just go against my advice. But for me, I am my top seller. I your money. La. You just do whatever you want. Sure. I just tell you one time, two time. I'm not going to repeat myself for so many times. If not, sure. I'm going to be low soul. Sure. So he insists on the one in Orchard. Uh, it's a one-bedroom, 1.9 million. And okay. one, he bought two unit. One, two unit. One under the sister name. And because he told me one thing, it's his childhood dream to park his car, his Lamborghini, in Orchard. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So coming forward, 2019, now it's 2024. Yes. The five bedder in Park Asta is easily over 3 million. 3.2, So if you bought at 1.9, he will make 1 over million. Correct. And then okay. the so-called the shoebox over that development in Orchard area, it's still around 1.9, no taker. Really? Because, okay, typically it's very simple. Majority of the Singaporean are the heartlander. Sure. So given the same price, we want sure. to buy something that is more of family. Sure. We need at least a three bedroom, four bedroom, sure. or five bedroom. Of course. So going for Orchard to buy something that is 1.9, you want to sell 2.5, Singaporean may resist a lot. Because no point I buy. I can't. Yeah, you I see, can't... I'm more very rich. Uh, foreigner very rich. Uh, okay. China Chinese very rich. Uh, sure can buy. Okay. The China Chinese, in, Indonesia Chinese, yes, they're a the foreigner. They go for CCR, they go for Orchard. But because right now they're 60% ABSD. And number two, they want big unit. They don't go for small shoebox. They go for three bedroom, four bedroom, five bedroom. They go for penthouse. They go for, they go for small unit. So typically, small unit, uh, I would say it doesn't have its own advantages. Good renter, just like you're buying grids, very safe, good renter. Sure. But you want upside, uh, it don't make any sense to the, the homeowners who are in the outskirts or the OCI. I see. My, pre my preferred choice is still in the OCR and the RCR. I see. Um, the upgrader, you know, the upgrader will probably the support the market and push up the market. I see. You can follow me on my the YouTube channel, Dragon Tan. Mm. I'll upload my upcoming the, uh, video. Or what yeah. are the checklists and buy property in Singapore? Okay, so Great. please follow Dragon Tan is his uh, YouTube channel. Eh? So so much about uh, new launches. I think Sarah, uh, rental market. Well, how is the situation now? Wow, rental market. I heard very true, yeah. Okay, very true. Um, the rental market was uh, if you follow Mister Lu and my sharing since two years ago when I just started, I did share the rental market was crazy two years ago. One viewing, one viewing, one time slot during one of the weekend or weekday we can have. 10 plus people queuing outside. All right. This is not the one weekend, 10 people queuing up. That Teams of people, right? The norm. That norm. 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 Okay. Yes. Some tenant back then, they would just uh, offer you without queuing. Oh. It was so crazy. No then. Choice. So this is not happening now. Probably right now, you have one listing for um, put up for marketing. The, the groups of uh, so called the potential tenant can come uh, probably randomly. On Tuesday, one group, Friday, one group, Sunday, one group. Very random. Three groups in one week. Correct. Not 10 groups in one day. So so I, I have to share my own experiences. Sure, uh, sure. My wife has a unit for rent. It's a three-bedroom in the northeast area, uh, Sing Kang. So it used to rent at 4,008. And then uh, what happens is that the, the tenant break lease need to go back to the... Hang more, is it? Yeah, correct. The Hang more. Town. Singapore costs are living too high for them. So yeah, they need to high. go to the hometown itself. Okay. And uh, what happened exactly is that uh, currently right now, I try to put up remarketing over the last two months. Well, uh, we have responses, but uh, a lot of the offer came at around 3,008 to 4,000. So, so it was 4,008. Now the offers now is at 3,000 and 4,000. So right. that's 20% uh, drop? Around uh, 15 to 20%. Yeah, yeah. 15 to 20% drop, yeah. Hey, the reason is because uh, Sengkang and Pongo are largely residential. Sure. There's no presence of business park and the industrial park as yet. So typically, the, the rental or price uh, around the Northeast tend to be weak as compared to Jurong West, Jurong East. 
because Jurong East and West is a large oh, GTC. It's a GTC, yeah. but the landlord yeah. here is GTC, a lot yeah. of industrial area, business sure. park here. Sure. As compared to one north, uh, so typically you rental around this area tend to be better. Sure. As well as the east side, Changi Business Park. Sure. So so this is the thing that currently we are facing. And of course, some of the rental that you see on the online the transaction, it could probably be because of a renewal. Because sometimes the, the tenant are just lazy to, to ship out. Sure. And then the landlord are so lucky, they based on what is the current higher price or on the caveat to renew with the current tenant. So this is very lucky. But of course, on the whole, if you need to remarket and look for a new tenant, oh, easily, how long it take? I have a neighbor that is a five bedroom sure. because they are very selective in their choice. Sure. Uh, the unit is a five bedroom. Uh, it has been vacant since uh, September last year. So se September is gao gui, uh, gao gui, zao gui, zao it, zao li, one, two, three. It has been vacant for seven months. Seven months? Uh? Seven months. Seven weeks, I've been tahan already. Eh? Seven months. Oh, so, uh, is it because the expectation too high? Uh, they want to look for armor in uh, Sengkang. But come to think of it, there's not really a lot of armor in Sengkang. Yeah, armor nowadays, not so atas, you know? Yeah. Correct. So there's not really a lot of armor in Sengkang. Uh, and then uh, probably some, some owner, uh, we respect that, they are more particular into the suitable tenant profile to take up their house. Right. Uh, likewise, my wife is also looking for suitable tenant. So what, who are the, the typical tenant nowadays? Uh, it can be the PRC group. Uh, in the Northeast PRC group, uh, as well as the Indian aspects from India, uh, this is what I encounter. Uh, for the central area, as like Potong Pase or probably Topayo, you see more of the PRC Korean as well. Japanese, they love to stay at River Valley area. Okay. Uh, but these days, uh, we have the Japanese going outskirts as well, or probably to oh, so yeah. <laughs> yes. there was one the, the yen, the yen too weak. Yeah. Okay, that's very interesting. So, so in a nutshell. HDB still going strong at the risk of maybe a government intervention. Private property now more steady and potentially you can still make some money out of a new launches and provide you pick the right place. And last one is a rental now is just very difficult, right? That's how it looks. So looking forward this whole year all the way to the next, uh, you know, uh, to 2025, what do you think the outlook look like? This is the year of Dragon. So uh, typically in the year of Dragon, Things are very stable. Uh, I still foresee a stable growth for, for Singapore property market. Sure. And of course, uh, a lot of people are waiting for the rates to be cut at least three times in the second half of the year. Sure. This is in anticipation. Uh, sure. I today is April Fool Day as well, but this is no joke. Uh, the UOB the account or the UOB one account has started to lower down the, the interest rate as well for the eligibility. So I think looking forward, um, buyers who knew. That the rates will be, will be cutting soon sure. over the next uh, second half. Probably they have already positioned themselves in the market itself. Mm. Even the new launches, the take up rate probably is 30% for many of the new launches. 30%? 30%. It used to be 80 90%. Yeah. Two years, three years. Yeah, I only see the news. Uh, everything is 100% so 80% so 90% so. Uh, Buyers are selective. Okay. For certain launch, like Lentor mentioned, yeah. uh, 75% on day one. Yeah. So buyer. You mean uh, that's not a norm? Okay, the, right now the norm is around 30%. 30% on day one. On day one itself. It used Ooh. to be 80-90% yeah. during 2021 and 2022. I see. So these days it's around 30%. Okay. Uh, except for a few good launches, popular launch like Lantor mentioned, 75%. Oh. Because buyers are still price sensitive. There are still buyers in the market, just that they are very price sensitive. So they do not suka suka wait tai already. Ah, okay, yes. okay, okay. Yeah. So looking forward for this one year. You expect there to be a small recovery? Transaction or? volume has uh, declined, especially for the new launches. Yeah, from 80% to 30% in, Correct. in, in uh, day in, one. In the, in, the past, in the past 2021, 2022, sure. we have around um, 13,000 units are sold. Sure. 2021, 2022, sure. we have around um, probably 7,000. Last year, 6,005. So a lot of agents yell si liao because Really? Um, okay. <laughs> because I was telling my... my si means I was doing training. Uh, yeah, correct. I was telling my, my, my group of agents whether the market up or down, it doesn't affect us so long the volume don't decline. But question yes, is the so. volume decline, it will affect our rice bowl. If let's say uh, less and less transaction, it's going to affect the agent badly as well. Of course. Of yeah, course. this is my personal opinion. Uh, really only the, the fittest and the good one can survive. Okay, so but usually with a lowering of, uh, of volume, mm. there's somewhat some impact also on demand, right? Okay, uh, reason for the new launch is because over in uh, year 2022 and 2023, the supply in the market is not a lot. So government mm. is ramping up supply. So sure. probably the lack of supply in the market for the new launches mm. uh, 
partly explain the reason for the low transaction. It doesn't mean that everything is going down. So sometimes it's just the way that the age property, mm. the district's time, the business time, how they write the article. Mm. Don't be alarmed at the percentage. Look at the figures number. Okay. All right. Uh, the numbers will, will give you an overall idea and picture in mind. I see. Right. Okay. What do you think about the rental market moving forward? Hopefully, the, that the GDP increase, the overall global economy, the outlook is good. MNC go for mass hiring of aspects because rental depends on aspect. It's not about local domestic demand. It's, it's aspect. Mm. So aspect must come in. And aspect are called pay ready right now. That uh, everything is expensive here. Yeah. So uh, so it depends on that outlook as well. I'm monitoring as well. And I hope that um, the MNC are hiring more people. Mm. Because anyway, I did mention that 21,000 units at DOP last year. Mm -hmm. This will soften the rental market for sure. Oh, what about this this year? This year, okay, we don't have uh, this number of uh, so called, we don't have 21,000 units. Sure. So, good thing for sure, but last year, there's a lot. Okay. 21,000. Okay. And uh, we, we hope that the rental remains stable and probably you go back to the, my personal opinion, uh, probably go back to the pre, the, at this rate and the, at this slight downtrend, probably you go back to what is pre COVID. I see. Okay, very interesting. So, in a nutshell, uh, looks like the property market in Singapore, uh, it's uh, it's okay uh, mm. on the HTV side, you know, going strong still. That's an issue of affordability, but that's a topic for another day. In the condominium world, uh, we are looking at pretty good, steady returns so far. In the rental market, uh, it's pretty difficult. Couple of fact that you know the cost of living is really expensive in Singapore. Really, there's a huge hit uh, to the rental market. So I think all these are good data points for you to consider. We'll, we shall see you know, how uh, things uh, map out in the next eight months or nine months uh, to, to the end of 2024. So government policy is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, we really have to study the government policy well. How welcoming they are to the, the MNC in terms of tax incentive, rebates. Yeah. Just keep a lookout. All right, good. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching. Okay. As usual, this is Dragon Tan, a uh, very uh, good friend of mine and, uh, and a real estate professional. And uh, if you have any needs for a real estate professional, remember, don't look for me, <laughs> look for him. Okay? okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the trust as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you in a day or two. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.